Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are not working on a car, but something you pull with a car. That would be our Jayco uh, fifth wheel camper. And when we got it, we had the uh, Furion camera package installed. And uh, last fall we put it to bed, everything was just fine. This spring we come out, uh, came out to get it hooked up, summarized, ready to go. And the uh, driver's side camera was not working and it's still not working. I went ahead and reached out to our dealer and since it's about a three hour trip one way, uh, they said get a hold of Furion, see if they'll send me out a new camera. I did and I have a new camera. Right here in a box, no instructions. So we'll see how this goes. Basically it's a whole new camera and lens assembly and what we're gonna do is get the old one off and put the new one on and see if that solves our problem. Now, my initial problems were A, the camera would not come up on the display in the uh, pickup. It's got its own seven inch uh, screen uh, tied into the camera on the passenger, driver, and rear cameras. Uh, I was not able to repair the camera to uh, the screen or anything. I did troubleshoot and removed one of the other cameras and repaired it without issue. So uh, it should be isolated to this unit. Uh, troubleshooting steps uh, were make sure that there of course was a little blue indicator light on under here, which there was, and the repairing process did not work. So that's why I was thinking, well, let's see if we can get this covered under warranty, replaced, uh, something just so we have all three of our cameras uh, when traveling down the road. So. Here we are, we've got the new camera. Got to get the old one off. There's three wires here. They are marked. I have a traffic lamp positive. I have a camera positive and a ground. Right here. You can't read that because it's too close. But they are here, one, two, three wires. So we're gonna go ahead take this old camera off. The light still works, just the camera doesn't. So we'll hopefully fix that by replacing this whole unit. Now it comes off with either four uh, Phillips or uh, square head uh, drive, I believe. First take off our lens. You can just sneak a straight blade under, pop it off. The only downside to this project is that this is all caulked around here. So I've got to break that. I guess I'm not terribly uh, enthused about it, but hey, I can always re-caulk. Actually, I think I just need to take these two big ones out because these are two small screws here. So probably didn't need to take those out, but I did and here we are. Got a knife. I'm gonna see if I can score and open this up a little bit and work on prying that old fixture off. I wanna be careful, don't go deep into the actual camper siding itself. Just try and break through the silicone goo and see how that works for us. Well, maybe I can just Pop it off like this. Spare parts. Spare parts everywhere. One more screw hiding under here. Good to know about that we didn't see. Now we have goo. That stuff never even really set up under there. Anyways, we've got our wires. Careful to pull everything out. I have a trigger signal that was not hooked up to anything. Uh, my new light doesn't have that, so maybe we're fine. Let's go ahead and grab all of our cables out of here and wires. 
so we've got some room to work. I'm gonna go ahead and pull our old ones out. Remember this here with me, that uh, brown traffic lamp is actually red. Yeah, okay, sure. And they are the same over here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get a pliers or a cutters real quick. Cut this down, because we've got about an inch and a half of wire sticking off here, and we only need three eighths of an inch, half inch. So I'm gonna get a cutters real quick. All righty, got the trusty old Gerber, always lives in the pickup. Chop off some of this excess here. All right. Let's go ahead and remove. Actually, let's put the other wires on first before I forget. Green is going to be our ground. This is going to be our black. I think. Should have looked at that before I pulled everything apart. Let me do that quick. Alrighty, went back and looked at the camera. Same stuff you looked at just a minute ago to figure out what lights went where, because I'm an idiot. And didn't mark them. Why? Because I didn't think about it. Anyways, important thing is, ground is white. Camera plus is green. And we know that the traffic lamp is red. So, okay. We're gonna go ahead, grab our new camera. and take our ground and stick it right into the white. <clears throat> and it goes, push it back down, lock it in place. That's gonna leave our red to go to the green, just like a little bit of holiday spirit or a frog in a blender. PETA, I'm only kidding. And then we will take our old camera out of the red. And set our new one in. Alrighty, all of our wires are in and hooked up. Now what I should probably do if I was smart is drive the pickup over here, plug it in, and make sure it worked. But I'm not that's smart. Uh, what I'm going to at least do is put all the wires back in here and lightly screw it back into place so I don't misplace any other parts. Then I'll move the pickup and see if we can get it paired up. Got to get all this other goop off of here so let me get that cleaned up. Grab the pickup and we'll see if we can get it paired up. Pair it up, pick up, pick up, pair up. There we go. Alrighty, got the pickup. Got to put back on here where it goes. And I need to clarify something. I didn't notice when this other unit was sent the replacement. It is not an LED. Where our camper has the LED lights on it. So what I had to end up doing was splitting the uh, fixture from the camera. So I've got the original fixture from the camper and the new uh, camera mounted on here. And I have my blue status light under here, which means I should be good to grab my monitor and go into pairing mode. One second. All right, it's kind of challenging to see out here in the sun. Let's see if we can just tuck you inside the cab. Maybe this will work for us. Got a button on the side here, our rear camera. You can see our rear camera. Maybe you can, there we go. Let's see if you get your back. There we go. Hello, shade, jeez. Rear camera. Our right camera <clears throat> and our left camera is not operational. So what we're going to do is go into the menu, go into the pairing menu, look at the left cam. It's in pairing mode. We'll run inside. We'll hold this little button for three seconds. Look at that, it magically worked. Huh, about two seconds. That's all it took was to press that little blue button in. And now we have all of our cameras in 
I guess back reversed mode, but whatever, we've got cameras. Uh, yeah, we've got all of our cameras. Oh, shucks, don't do that again. It's working, stop, stop. Anyways, you saw that worked. It was a pretty simple replacement, didn't take more than maybe 15 minutes to do. Uh, maybe not even that. I just gotta go back now and recalk around the, uh, around the unit here and tighten everything up, put our lens back on, and we're gonna be good. So, while not really a car video, still a good helpful DIY. Uh, I did look around online for quite a while and couldn't find anything pertaining to my exact problem. Uh, the issues I found was just repairing the camera to the display and whatnot nothing actually replacing any of the faulty units. Now, often that would be done by dealer maybe, but in my case, like I said, it's gonna be almost a day's travel uh, out and back to the dealer whose business hours are not open on weekends. So it means a day off of work, day away from family, whatever the case may be, and most of a tank of diesel. So that's not really cost effective these days. Anyways, the problem is fixed. It wasn't hard to do. All you've got to do is be a little creative and uh, don't be afraid to take things apart. I mean, some things, maybe. Nuclear reactor, I wouldn't touch that. Campers, I've uh, rehabbed and repaired a bunch of campers over the years and it's low voltage, 12 volts, nothing big. So I hope this was helpful. If it is or was, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, we've got lots of other great car content floating around and we'll see you real soon. <clears throat> in the next video. Take care.